my father grew up in India, so did my mom, but she's half Dutch. So I'm, you know, three quarters brown, one quarter white, and uh, it worked out okay for what I do because I got mixed up just enough to convince anybody that I can be anything. <laughs> I grew up in Joliet, Illinois, 45 minutes southwest of Chicago. And uh, I had the best of both worlds. I grew up in this great town and uh, the same time I got to travel the world. Going back to India every year to see family afforded us the opportunity to see some truly far away place as not far away at all. It made us realize that we weren't alone even though we were there were just a few of us in, in my hometown. I mean I think I could count all the Indian kids in my school on one hand. My parents instilled in us as an idea somehow we were special because we were different. I don't know how they pulled that off, but it definitely helped me <laughs> and has helped me through life. There was a very definite moment that changed the trajectory of my life. I auditioned for West Side Story and I was Maria. <laughs> and I was in a rehearsal and I reached out to Tony and I was holding a note and my whole heart broke and I felt Maria's heartbreak and it was this unexpected feeling and I I mean it changed me forever being a brown actor in Hollywood is not easy when you see a breakdown of characters this is how it goes Ashley 20 to 30 years old pretty Caucasian Betty 20 to 30 years old pretty black Carmen, 20 to 30, Latina. Samantha, 20 to 30, submit all ethnicities. I fit in that fourth one. I always have. So that means that we have to beat out everyone. Now, if you can actually get to the point where you manage to pull that off, the stripes that you have earned confidence-wise as an artist will make you soar. I am at my best when I am uncomfortable. True Blood is a good example of that. It's a lot of blood, a lot of drama, a lot of drama, which is like unnecessary drama, you know? <laughs> Life is not easy for those characters. It's very complicated, it's always a challenge. It was a role that was going to ask a lot of me as a performer, but there's something I've learned along the way. That moment when I ask myself, am I really gonna do this right now? Am I, am I really gonna do this? Am I gonna jump off this ledge? Things that I never thought I could do happened. And I know I'm gonna look back at those when I'm 80 and say, man, I'm so glad I jumped. My dad, he used to drive me to school in the mornings. And I had some rough years in high school. I had, I had the whole mean girl thing happen to me. And I'm sure my mom said something to him, like, you know, the girls were being mean and whatever. And he literally just said, you're a star. Just be great. The best revenge is success. <laughs> and it lived with me forever, forever. I work with the It Gets Better project, mostly for the LGBT kids out there who are getting bullied. They help to let the next generation of LGBT kids know that it might be rough right now, but it does get better. The thing I know, and I would say most people who have gone through any kind of real adversity know, is that once you come out on the other side, you are so strong that it's never gonna happen again.